actually come for everyone to enjoy VR in their own home. And at PlayStation, we have a combination of the necessary processing and graphics power already built inside 40 million PS4s that have been sold worldwide. We he didn't expect that applause. We have the display technology, which can realize these images at a high fidelity. We have the production expertise to create a headset that is designed for the gamer. And because PlayStation 4 is a fixed platform, developers can fine tune their games for the system to deliver the same transformative experience for all PlayStation VR owners. I'm happy to announce here that on October 13th, PlayStation VR will make its debut in the United States. That's a, that's a lot of money, a lot of money I don't have. <clears throat> Currently, more than 50 games will be available from launch oh. until the end of this year. That includes some of the biggest franchises, along with brand new titles that will be born on PSVR. We invite those here tonight, after the experience, and after this experience, to come with us next door to the arena post reception, where we'll be able to have some PSVR's kiosk set up so you can all have a go. Now, I'd like to showcase a few PlayStation VR titles, starting with PlayStation exclusives developed by our own worldwide studio. Please watch. Well, you can tell that this was his gameplay, mainly because of the way the the head moves, like the the the, the camera moves, because it looks like somebody's is doing this, because they're kind of shaking too. I don't know if they deliberately made it look like that, or it's actual gameplay. I'd like to believe it's actual gameplay. Oh great, giant spider with giant teeth and a vagina. I mean, it's it's. Pilgrim, can you read me? This is Dr. Tyson and Dr. Moon. Come back. It's a first-person shooter, Farpoint. Just because it's in VR doesn't make it anything other than a first-person shooter. It looks generic. So, I don't know. Star Wars. Obviously. The PlayStation VR mission. I mean, these... Okay, so this is a PlayStation VR mission. Does that mean it's a full game or just like a, a, a demo? Because I'm pretty sure that most of these 50 games are going to be just like little snippets. Don't get me wrong. If I'm going to sit there with a headset on, I would love to be sitting in a... Ugh. Battlefront. <laughs> Sorry, I get, I get a little annoyed. I want to sit in an X-wing. But now, why did they attach the name Battlefront? I mean, Battlefront didn't have any space battles. How do you feel when you put on that? Mark Hamill, Joker. Are you hiding from the world? I'm assuming it's the Joker. We're gonna get Batman VR. Well, illusion becomes the new reality. Does it even matter? After all, if you find a 
as with this. You never need to take it off. <laughs> Batman Arkham VR. I mean, I'll, we'll see. Well, it has Rocksteady attached to it, so uh, I trust them. But again, is it a full game or is it more like a short VR style thingy? Thingy. I don't know. Words are not my expertise. Am I, see? See? 